हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीपाई हॉस्पिटल एंड पेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट द थिंकिंग प्रोसेस बिहाइंड कॉर्टेक्स रिमूवल बाय यूजिंग द को एक्सेल आई ए प्रो व्हिच इज माय फेवरेट टेक्निक नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट वी मस्ट नो सर्टन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट अबाउट द जोन्स ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द वैक्यूम एंड वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट जोन इज द विच इज अ ग्रीन जोन विच इज अ रेड जोन सो द जोन which is near the capsular axis margin and beyond it towards the equator is the red zone so that is the zone of lower vacuum application while the central zone which is 1 mm away from the ccc margin is the green zone we should always use the coaxial ia tip with the opening pointing upwards as far as possible and now if we use only the centripetal movement of the ia tip there is a higher risk of catching the capsule so instead of that what i do is that i pull this ia tip downward after holding the cortex so what it does is that one is that the tip stays away from the capsule and the fluid wave helps in cleaving this cortex away from the capsule so it becomes quicker and safer another important part is removal of the subincisional cortex for that you have to rotate the ia piece but making sure that the irrigation port is not compressed and for ease of removal of the subincisional cortex it is important to have good hydro dissection and nucleus rotation adequate size of the ccc and angled tip now if the ccc is very small or hydro dissection was not properly done then it is better to shift to bimanual ia to avoid any problems with subincisional cortex removal now let's get started with one case and i will show you how proper cortex aspiration can be done using the coaxial ia so just watch here low vacuum in the peripheral zone let the cortex occlude the tip bring it back into the center watch for the release of the cortex from the equator and then in the green zone use the full vacuum so the same steps have to be repeated now for each part of the cortex and for the subincisional cortex you have to rotate the ia pro make sure that the irrigation is properly inside the ac ia pro should be pushed in and rotated and then follow the same rules using the low vacuum in the periphery catching hold of the cortex and then pulling it out now it is very easy to do it and if you watch it that if you do each and every step perfectly without hurrying into things you can finish off cortex removal just in 15 seconds without any risk of posterior capsular or anterior capsular damage here so these are the proper steps that we have to follow in each and every surgery to have very safe and repeatable cortex aspiration using the coaxial ia now let's look at this case the same rules have to be followed here as well catching hold of the cortex with low vacuum engaging it pulling it towards the center so that it gets released from the equator and then using the full vacuum with the opening of the ia tip pointing anteriorly and for the sub incisional again watch carefully the irrigation should always stay in the anterior chamber use low vacuum engage the cortex don't hurry and don't use very high vacuum in the periphery these are the important things now we'll just uh, have a look at this another surgeon's video and you will find uh, why these concepts are very important the planning has to be there the steps have to be followed properly now watch here uh, the ia probe is getting withdrawn in between while the ia probe should always stay in the center now the surgeon tried to remove the subincisional first and then released it and now the surgeon is trying to use low vacuum in the center just like simco that should not be done with the coaxial ia and again there is no control over the vacuum and just look at this very high vacuum is used suddenly and that removes the cortex but the peripheral cortex is cut off and that's why the peripheral cortex in the sub incisional area remains and now the surgeon has to struggle to take it out now watch here 
the IA probe is getting withdrawn into the incision that is the reason why irrigation is being compressed look here you can see the lines on the posterior capsule here indicating that the anterior chamber is getting shallow and of course there is a higher risk of complication and catching hold of the posterior capsule luckily the surgeon is using low vacuum now understanding that the anterior chamber is unstable still the irrigation I would say is little bit compromised but better than previous attempt and uh, the surgeon could remove the sub cortex but it's important to prevent such issue and it can be easily prevented with the steps i have shown so what was the difference between the first and the second case see the irrigation was properly inside in the anterior chamber and the ia probe was pushed in and not withdrawn completely that is very important you can record your own surgical videos and you will find that these tips will help you in improving your cortex aspiration. So the first basic always understand the zones of vacuum ap application and then use lower or higher vacuum and that will make the cortex aspiration very effective, very safe at the same time very quick. Thank you for watching for more such videos you can visit our website and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much